Hey guys, welcome to my new series called For the Love of Paper. I was watching some YouTube videos a while back and I got to thinking that, you know, I watch people that have um, different skills and talents than I do and um, I really enjoy their videos and I enjoy their knowledge and um, I appreciate their talent. You know, they're artists in their own right and I found myself watching certain people over and over and over again even though um, it's not exactly what I do but I've been inspired by some of these people to incorporate some of their techniques into what I do. So I got the idea to maybe do like a spotlight feature on some of these YouTubers but they're not only YouTubers they also have Etsy shops too so they also sell their things and I just wanted to bring more attention to some of these people that I enjoy watching and I think you guys would enjoy watching and I think you would appreciate their talents. They, they're they awesome. Um, so I contacted these folks myself. These videos are not sponsored in any way. I'm really excited to share with you guys the people that inspire me, the people that I like to watch um, on YouTube and the people that I feel like work just as hard as I do because I know how hard it is to make videos and to make uh, handmade items and to sell your stuff on Etsy and all of that. I know how hard it is and I know how time consuming it is and I just wanted to share um, the people that I get inspired by and the people that I think deserve more attention and the people that I think um, do excellent work. So. The first person that I have is, I just happened upon her accidentally and it was because of her thumbnail that I stopped and looked at her video and I just want you guys to know that thumbnails are super important. Um, but her th thumbnails are just absolutely beautiful so I stopped and I watched one of her videos and her name is Nick the Booksmith. She is on YouTube and she makes handmade um, junk journal books. What does she call them? Tomes, I think. Um, she's fun to listen to. She's silly like me. She just says whatever's on her mind. You know, she just, I uh, enjoy watching her videos and she has some awesome techniques and she also has an Etsy shop where she has, she sells her handmade books. She has digital items. She has a journal making video course and it is called Adventures in Booksmithing. So um, that's pretty awesome because the book I'm about ready to show you because I have one in hand and it's so awesome and I'm so glad that I have this book because you know, when you watch something on the video, you don't, you can't feel it. And I'm a very touchy feely kind of person. So I, I love, love this book that she sent me. Um, so she also has that journal making class available. And she also literally just released, um, today is actually Thursday, but you'll see this video on Saturday. And I think Friday she released a new printable kit and it's, it's called, let me make sure booksmith planner kit and so she sent it to me last night so that I could check it out and so I made a real quick little something last night I only had an hour came home from soccer it was hot we were tired but I really wanted to check it out so I made something really quick so I'll share that with you guys as well so I will link all of her stuff in the description box below, her YouTube channel, her Etsy shop um, and you really need to go check her out if you go check her out just say hey you know, subscribe to her channel. Just let her know what you think. And I think you guys are gonna love her just as much as I do. So, I contacted her myself and I contacted her through Etsy and I asked her if she would be willing to make me a journal. Uh, and she said yes. So, she sent me this journal, which I am so grateful and so thankful. I can't, I can't even explain. I mean, here it is, here it is. Close up. Look at this. I don't know how she gets this texture on this book. I don't know how she does it. Um, I think she explains that in the course that she has available. But look. Look at all these beautiful laces. And look at this. So all of this is handmade. This is completely handmade. Absolutely gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to uh, do a flip through of this, but I'm going to have to flip the camera around to do that. So before I do that, um, I wanted to show you the digital uh, thing, the book that I made. It's, it's actually... It's actually meant to be a planner. I've got my little my little notes here on her just so that I don't get sidetracked because I, I get sidetracked. So it's actually meant to be a digital printable planner type thing. But like I said, I came home late last night from my son's soccer game and I was hot and I was tired and I, I printed it all out and I was checking it out and I just made something really quick. Um, so I'm going to show you real fast. And I'll also flip through it. I'll flip the camera around and I'll flip through it as well. Um, so don't, don't judge me too harshly, but I think it's cute. It is, it's just a little notebook. Can you see it? It's just a little notebook, right? So this is actually just one of the pages that are in the printable. And um, inside the printable, inside this little book, I just have it filled with lined pages that are part of the printable. And I will show you, I'll show you all that as well. But I just wanted to show you my quick little... Um, this is from her printable that's meant to be a planner, and I just wanted a, I just wanted a little journal. So this is what I made. I made it really quick last night, um, but I like it, so it's beautiful. Okay, so let's turn the camera around, and I'll do a quick flip through um, of all the awesomeness of this book. I just can't even tell you how awesome this book is. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, so here it is. Look at this beautiful journal I don't know how she does it I mean it's just it's so so beautiful I love it I love it a lot so cool she's not spilling the secrets either can you see the texture okay <laughs> and she's got a nice little seam binding um, what's that called um, closure so she told me that it might be stiff when you first start using it but you know what there's something about her covers that are just awesome i don't know how to really explain it but i think it's wonderful so let's just jump right in so it, there's a little pocket right here on the cover and i'm thinking that i tried to do as much research as i could on her digital stuff and i'm thinking a lot of the stuff in here is her digital ephemera that she has in her shop so you may want to check it out the images are really really cool um and she's got a lot of little lovely little tags um, through here, but she did send me a little note. That's what this is. I've just got it in here so that I don't lose it um, But there's a lot of cute little like um, Details that are awesome. Like look at this. Look at this little charm right here, and then there's some cheesecloth um, That's where I've been inspired with the cheesecloth Nick the booksmith She inspired me to use cheesecloth and trims along with another uh, chick that will be coming up next week. I'm super excited about her too, but um, there's cute little like metal embellishments and there's just you know, this is a sewn on piece of lace and um, It's like makes a little tuck spot and it's just absolutely Beautiful. It looks like all the papers are coffee dyed. I think she hand does all of her papers Which is awesome like this is like a little envelope right here with a little paper clip and I know this one is um Part of her ephemera um, and it's got a little note inside so cute i don't know um, if their images are coming from vintage items or what but they are beautiful and they're clipped onto this little short page so even the um patterned paper that's in here is coffee dyed so i'm assuming that's what this is this looks like an old book page um from i don't know it looks like a this looks like an index page Something about uh, the method of, <laughs> but anyway, all these different sizes, you could be, this could be a junk journal, this could be just a writing journal, you can add pictures, it's just, there's another old book page, um, there's just a, um, it looks like stationery of some sort. And then she's got these little quotes throughout the book that she puts in some of the pages. This is some graph, is this, no, this, what is this, what do they call that? It's not um, grid paper, it's, um. Oh, I'll have to think about what that's called. Huh. Ledger paper. Ledger paper. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and then she's got nice little details with some seam bindings stapled to the top. I love that. I love, love that. I do know this is one of her ephemera pieces from one of her packages. Um, I did see most of them. So some of them are actually real um, vintage ephemera. So... 
Here's some more of the book pages. I think there's six signatures in here. I mean, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know which stitch she uses specifically, but um, it is definitely hand stitched. And then here's a little tuck spot with a little folded piece of paper. Um, I think this is a Tim Holtz um, photo thingy. I'm not sure because I've never bought any of those, but how cute is that? It's adorable. You can cut it apart and use it as little accents. Sorry about the glare. There is um, a botanical, it looks like. I'm not really sure. But then she stitched some, of, it looks like muslin maybe. And then there's this cute little trinket charmy thing down here at the bottom with a garment pin. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? So cute. See this, the little details like that. It's just, I love it. And then here is a stitched pocket. Um, these these uh, papers feel almost like fabric, and I know they're not fabric, but they feel almost like uh, fabric. There's a, a little vintage ephemera piece right there. Um, an old book page, it's, a, it's something about March. I bet it's a poem or something. And then, you know, again, there's some more of the lace trim at the top. This looks like specialty paper. It's a little thicker than regular paper. There's some of her digital ephemera. I mean, isn't this beautiful? I mean, I can't even say it enough. There's just regular o writing paper that, that when you coffee dyed, it just gives it something, you know? Some more ephemera there. I'm trying to say ephemera correctly. I usually say ephemera. I'm trying to say ephemera correctly. <laughs> that looks like some old stamps there. So there's a lot, a lot of sheets in here. There's some more seam binding stapled up to the top. And there's the other side of that old book page. And then here's the other side of that pocket page. And then that looks like an embossed piece, and tag. And I think this is a button. I'm not sure. Um, it kind of feels like it was a button, but she, you can't hardly tell. That is so cool the way she did that. So again, that's a stitched pocket with a piece of ephemera in the back and another quote. I mean, look at this. Oh, look at that. It says, whoops, it says happy. Can you see that little charm right there? It says happy. So again, the paper just feels awesome. Awesome. It's music paper. I'll try to flip through some of these quicker. Oh, book page. <clears throat> More of that ledger paper. The seam binding axe. See, I just love the way that looks sticking out the top. Those little tabs. So beautiful. And then here is a, what is this? What is this? This is a pocket. Oh, look, it's like an envelope. Oh, and that's the center of the signature. Very cool. So you can tuck a bunch of stuff in there. I really like the idea of putting this little whole reinforcement down here at the bottom. Uh, there's not a charm on this clip. I don't know if there was supposed to be. Nick, I, I hope I didn't lose a charm already. Um, but super cute. I like that idea. I really like that idea a lot. I'm going to use that, Nick. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to steal it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. It has inspired me. Okay, so let's just keep flipping. Um, another quote. Uh, scrapbooking booking paper. There's a music notes. And there's another little tuck pocket that's been sewn. Everything is sewn, and I just love that. And I think this is just meant to look like an envelope, but it's really just like a sheet of paper. It could be old paper. I'm not sure. But I think it's cute, the little stamp on there. I don't know if that's, I think that's a vintage stamp. I can't read a date or anything, but it's so cute. It may not be super vintage, but it's, it's old. Old enough. <laughs> Look at this cute little, this is one of her ephemera pieces. Isn't that cute? Um, and a cute little a tuck spocket, a spocket, <laughs> a tuck, tuck pocket right here. I just love it. It's all sewn. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's some lace, a lace little tab up there. And then this looks like some old lace or at least stained um, lace trim. Um, so cute. Sewn onto there. Here's another little uh, piece of ephemera. And then look at this pocket back here. And this is a old, I think you used to get pictures and these little things right here. So she's included that with a tag and there's a button sewn on so cute and there's um the paper clip i think i don't know if it's holding i think it's holding this piece on i'm not i'm not 100 sure but it's cute i just love that and i love the lace here i just the layers the layers is awesome all right some more of that paper from the old book i'm sure coffee dyed paper music paper 
note paper, coffee, coffee, no, no music. I mean, you could, she did leave me room to fill this sucker up with whatever I wanted to put in. So that's awesome. Isn't that cute? Little bird's nest. Here is the other side of that sewn pocket with a tag. And this looks like an actual old um, book page. Poetry of the people. So that's pretty cool. I like that. There's some of her ephemera. And look at this. Doesn't that look like fabric? Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And there's some seam binding up there. And there's a little trinket. Oh, I don't know what these are called, but I think it's a Tim Holtz pen. It says trinkets on it with some muslin. I think that's muslin. I'm not 100% sure. So she didn't do a flip through. She didn't film, or I don't know, she might have filmed it, but she, it's not on YouTube. So I don't know the specifics of everything. So I'm just guessing. So I hope I'm uh, guessing correctly. Um, there's the other side of that. Oh, no, that's another like index type thing. What does that say? Violin. Oh, is this from the music book? I don't know. Some scrapbooking paper, some more coffee dot or tea dot. It's coffee dot. I think it's coffee dot. Old book page, right? So, I mean, it just goes on and on. You know, I mean, look at that. I love that. Okay. I don't do a whole lot of coffee dime. I mean, it is a time intensive process, I think. Um, but everything in here is coffee dyed, and I love it. Okay, so let's just keep moving, right? Here's the other side of that paper that's just beautiful. Another little tuck here that's sewn closed. So cute. And then on the back here, it looks like a little um, old letter with some washi on there, but it's blank. So that's cute. I like that idea. And then this page, this is the last signature, and it's like a collage, like it's sewn together, these pieces. And of course, we've got this trim right here. Um, but if you go back here, look, I wonder if, no, it's glued together, but it's got like, they're sewn. Can you see? See how that's sewn together? I love that. That is so awesome. I mean, this page definitely feels like fabric. So, moving on, moving on. I could just ooh and all all day long, and I'm sorry if I'm oohing and on all day, but it's just beautiful, and I love it. It looks like a paper got laid over top of a paper, and it left that cool effect. I love that. So, she puts a lot of detail into her work. This, you know, there's one of uh, her ephemera pieces. And another side of that old book page from an old book. I don't know if it's an old book, but it sure does look like it. Um, and then here's the back side of that sewn um pattern paper i just think it's beautiful this is another piece of ephemera and she's got a little bird on this piece this little tuck pocket here i bet you that's a piece of her ephemera as well and then it says crafted by nick the booksmith love that and this beautiful book plate here um i love it and then there's the back the back isn't nearly as ornate as the front but look at that cute little detail and the spine detail those are rays can you see that those are like raised ridges, and she does all of that. So in her video course, she shows you that, and that's pretty cool. So, okay, let me show you her digital products really quick. All right, so I didn't count the pages, but this is her newest kit. And what would he, what'd she call it again? She called it Booksmith Planner Kit. So this one she just really, literally just released, and it's cool because it's got different months and weeks spreads in it, and so um, I like it. And I love this note paper. I just think it's beautiful. So here's one of her month um, two-page spreads. It's, it's just a month on one side and a notes on the other. And then here is a two-page spread for the monthly, but it's broke out in for the weeks, you know what I'm saying, for each day. Beautiful. And then this one is kind of like a bullet journal, set up like a bullet journal page. I love the color and the feel. It's so beautiful. I'm going to keep saying that. I don't know what is wrong with me, but everything is just beautiful. Um, here's another. This is a weekly spread. So I like that. You could do like, um, yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff in those big old boxes. Here's another weekly spread. Isn't it pretty? And then here's a two-page weekly spread. I like this. It's I need to make me a planner. So, Nick, I'm going to be making me a planner. And then here's like a note page. It says notes, plans, goals, and then there's like a year calendar. It's, it's the setup for 2018, so you've got time to make it. 
And then here's one without the um, yearly calendar on it. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then this one is a goal sheet, I believe. Yes, go, 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 yeah. So this is like a goal sheet. Um, you can either, I guess, have it as a two-page spread or you could cut them up into different cards and put them where you want. And then this one has goals, gratitude, to-do, and shopping list. There's, you know, it's on top of Ode and uh, it's like a collaged ephemera page. Beautiful. This one says, what's the big idea? Brain dump. This made me happy. Meals to make. This made me happy. This made me happy, Nick. And then here is the months and some just different little things you can add throughout your planner. And then this, this is optional cover pages. They're both beautiful. I use this one on my cover. And then here's the envelope with a couple pieces of ephemera on there. Super pretty. And here is some um, sayings. Like it says, dance as if no one is watching. So you could tear them out and paste them wherever you would like. Or cut them out or leave them as a spread and just reference it every once in a while. And then this is a file photo page. And check it out. I'm sorry, but I think this is my favorite. So I actually used this page for the covers of my book. And so I'll show you that in just a minute, but isn't it pretty? And then here is some embellishments. There's some lace trim, some little pockets that have the sewing a detail, some tabs, little buttons, and a couple little extra little pieces. Uh, ephemera, that's it's pretty, right? I used, I used all of this except for these little tabs in my little book. And then this is just some lined um, note paper. You could either print it on the back of your other pages, uh, any of these, I guess, or have a whole book like I did of these pages. There's another one. And then there's another one. I love, love the colors of this. And this one is just like a plain. I guess you could use this for your covers as well. Um, I hadn't thought of that. But, so you could print this on the back of things too if you wanted to. And, uh, and this is just like a, another additional page. It says Sweet Memories. She had a name for it, but I don't recall because, again, it was late, and I'm sorry. Okay, so. All right, so that's all of the sheets that come with it. So now let me show you the book I made. So here's the book I made, right? So there's the file folder page. So let me, this is just a seam binding closure. And I did stitch this in here. It's a two signature stitched little notebook. So there's the lace trim. And look, look at me adding me some real vintage lace trim on there. And here's her two, uh, what are those called? Ephemera cards that come with the envelope and the buttons. I didn't even cut the buttons out very well. I'm sorry, Nick. And those two little pieces that are, you know, on that, you know, I don't know what they're called, but they're just two little pieces. So this is the cover. What do you think? And there's the one of the cover pieces, right? Dig it? I really like it. I made this really quick last night. It took me about an hour, um, but I'm glad I did it. I wanted to experience it. So let's go inside. So inside, I used one of those little pockets um, and put it in the bottom corner there. And then there's a piece of the ephemera that comes with it. And then this was the other cover page. So I just um, inked it up and I printed that, you know, solid brown on the back side. I just inked it up and I'm just going to tuck it in here. So pretty simple. So what I did was I just took all of those note pages and I just mixed them up and I measured them to fit and I rounded the corners. Um, so now, and then I was going to do a envelope in the middle of each signature, but I forgot the first time, the first one I stitched in. So this one's the only one that's got one in the middle, but that's okay. So there's that cute little envelope put together. Isn't it cute? So yeah, I just did all of the lined pages. So I, I you know, scribble stuff down a lot and I think, um, I'm going to love using this for that. So again, two signatures. Um, here's the signet signature. It's exactly the same, but see, there's where I didn't put this in the middle. I could have un undid it and did it again, but again, super tired. So there's the envelope um, printed out. And so there's backside. Cute, right? All right. So, and then there's the backside. Uh, oh, there's the tabs that I didn't use. <laughs> another pocket and another piece of that ephemera. Um, so yeah, I just took it and I made a signature out of all those pages, all of the lined pages. 
and I just put them together and cut them down to size all at one time and I rounded the corners. So that's all I did. So they're all right in there. No big deal, easy peasy, but it turned out beautiful and I love it. So thank you so much, Nick. I really appreciate it. So right, am I right? Is it not awesome? Is it not the most gorgeous, lovely thing ever? I mean, look at it. So beautiful. There's vintage stuff, there's lace, there's just, just a lot of sewing. I love it. Coffee dyed paper. I think it's coffee. Coffee or tea. You know, she has a video on YouTube for that, but it's just beautiful. And don't forget about her other digital items. This one she just released. I don't even know how she puts it together because I haven't seen the video yet. Look at Look. Wow. It's not even going to focus. <laughs> So please go check out her channel. You will love it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, and let her know what you think. Um, she has some awesome stuff, you guys. And check out her Etsy shop, too. So again, thank you, Nick, for this beautiful, beautiful journal. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It's got, I just, I just love it. Oh, I just want, can I just hug it? Can I just hold it? What do you think? I'll just hold it. <laughs> I love it. I told her, I said, I can't quit touching it. It's just beautiful okay guys um that's all i got for you so um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already go ahead and hit i think the button will be over here uh this little circle right here um to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos that you see on the screen and i'll see you guys next time bye